So when we talk about regular expressions, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really following uh, the user guide in this case, and uh, I'm gonna take examples from that. When you talk about regular expressions, does ABC match ABC? Yes, it does. Does ABC match ABCDE, this string, or ABC123, or 123 ABCRTY? Well, when we talk about regular expressions, ABC matches ABC, that is true. But would this ABC match this ABCDE as well? Well, yes, it actually does trigger it as well because it has this particular sequence of characters matching A, okay, and then a B, and then a C. So it's an exact match for these three, and therefore this one will be executed as well. But there are other uh, regular expressions that you can use to actually manipulate uh, this kind of matching as well. So we're going to come to that later on. But right now you need to understand, when I say this, ABC, it actually matches this. It matches this as well. It matches this as well, and it matches this as well. Why? Because there's an ABC right here in the middle, and then there's an ABC right here in the in the beginning, in the beginning, and so on. And it would work if it was at the end as well, something like this, uh, A, B, C, yes, it would work. Now, if I was to talk about a real life example of a message filter, for example, if I say, if header, pay close attention, please, if header from, right, equals, let's make it neat and tidy, equals, Mm, I say cisco.com, I say cisco.com, and that's it. Now, if I was to take this example, I know that this is the string we're trying to match, right? We're trying to match cisco.com. So, if I have something like asan at cisco.com, and let's start the questions after this. Shujil at cisco.com, let's say Anjali at cisco.com, and stuff like that, right? So these are three different names there. And if I have, for example, something like this, prucker at cisco.com dot in on, not on in, okay? Something like that. Or or a weird example that if you're familiar with, if you, if you, you know, if you check message trackings every now and then, you might see something like this as well. So if you have, um, let's say, just to make it look a little nicer, at cisco.com uh, cisco at uh, one, two, three, at test, oh, sorry, one, two, three, dot test.com, something like that. Okay, let's let's uh, look at the first one. Would this one match? Yes or a no? Well, yes, this one would match. Why is that? Because it has cisco.com in it right here, right? Now, would this one match? Well, that is true as well. Would this one match? Well, yes, this one would match as well because this part of the string in all these three, the first three is matching, right? And then in this one, Prucker, yes, it would match. Why is that? Because it has cisco.com right here. As I mentioned before as well in the example that you can have the exact string that is right here, as we can see, it matches it. It doesn't care about what's after this or what's before it, right? And then the last one, would it match this one? Well, let's take a look. It does not have it in the domain after the at, but are we checking after at or anything like that? No, we're just checking, does the header from contain this? Oh, well, yes, it does contain cisco.com. So yes, this one's gonna be triggered as well. Now a tricky question. I'm gonna give you five seconds for uh, for this one. Okay, let's see. I have something like the network Viking at Cisco uh, C com. Would this match? You can take five seconds. Pause the video. Whatever. Would this one match? If this is what we're checking. Well, yes, surprise, surprise. This would match as well. Not for all of you, I'm pretty sure. But those of you who don't know, why would this match? Is because this dot actually has a special meaning. Okay, in regular expressions, this dot is not like a simple dot. You put a dot in there and it's gonna match only a dot. No, a dot there actually means that it's gonna match any character, except 
a new line, right? So you can have anything in this place. You can have a T, you can have an R, you can have a one, you can have a two or whatever. So a dot has a special meaning. It's going to match everything. Okay, any character, but not two characters. I'm just talking about one character. So you can have a whatever one character, three, four, five, whatever. You cannot have a 33 com. In that case, it was not going to match. It will not match, right? So anything com matches just fine. So you might come up to me and say, okay, so then how do we make sure that it only matches a dot? Well, we do have other regular expressions uh, for that as well. We have other options. We're going to look into those options right after this, possibly, or you know what? Okay, let's take it forward. I'm just going to, no, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to take it up. Now, okay, let's talk about uh, the other parts. I'm going to talk about the caret symbol and the dollar sign now, okay? Okay, so let's say you wanted uh, uh, an exact match. You wanted to make sure that when you say header from equals equals and you say cisco.com, in such a case, you want to make sure that cisco.com is what it should end with and it should take a dot there and not something else instead of the dot. So what you can use in this case is, for example, you will have to use a dollar sign. That's one thing. And you'll have to use a backslash. OK, uh, this is a dollar sign. OK, and this uh, backslash is some I, I guess it's called a um, uh, escape sequence or something like that. OK, so what it would do is so the dollar is going to make sure that it ends with it. So if I have a dollar here and a backslash here, it's going to make sure that it always matches Cisco.com. But if I'm talking about message filters and content filters, there's a difference. If I'm talking about a message filter, you have to put double black sla backslashes, okay? And if I'm talking about a content filter, on the other hand, I just have to put one backslash. So in this case, I'm making a message filter, so I'll have to put two instead of one, but the, the, the result is going to be the exact same. So if I was to say, if I was to ask you a couple of questions now, when it comes to this particular filter, let's see. Would it match Cisco.com uh, at Cisco.com? Would it match Hassan at Cisco.com? Or would it match, let's say, uh, ABC at Cisco.com.in? Would it match any of these three? Let's take a look at them one by one. Or even this one, like we had in the previous one, the network Viking at Cisco C com, right? We had these four examples. So let's take a look at the first one, Cisco.com. This one, is it going to match? Well, I do have Cisco. That's fine. I do have a dot after that, and it's supposed to match a dot and com at the end, and it does match uh, the com. And dollar means that it has to end with this, whatever Cisco.com, right? So that means, yes, this would be triggered. And what about this one? Asan at Cisco.com. Well, whatever is before Asan, it doesn't matter because I'm saying it should end with Cisco and then there should be a dot and com. It should end with that, Cisco.com. Does it end with Cisco.com? Well, yes, it does. So we're good with that as well. Now, what about this one? Um, ABC, no problem, at no problem. It's exactly like this one. Okay. Then what about this? Cisco.com. Okay, we're good. Dot in? No, we're not good with that. No, this one's not going to match because we're saying that it should end. But the dollar sign, we are saying that it should end with Cisco.com. And in this example, no, it does not end with Cisco.com. And then we have the final one, the network viking at Cisco CCOM. In this case, in the in the previous one, as I mentioned, that a dot matches any character, right? But 
as I mentioned now that when you use a backslash, basically, you are escaping the special meaning of that character. So you don't want the dot to be treated as a special symbol, as a special character. In order to make sure that the dot is not treated as a special character, use double backslash. So this would mean that a dot is treated as a simple dot. So would this be matched? Yes or no? No, because it expects a dot here. It needs a dot for a match right here at the C. If it was a dot, it would have matched, yes. But in this case, whatever you put in there, it's not gonna match, all right? Well, there are other um, regular expressions as well that I'd possibly cover in some other video, but this video is already longer than expected. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And thank you so much. You guys have a great day ahead. Goodbye.